Um, so here we're at a demonstration site. This is a, a scold area that went out, what, about 2000, after 2016, this really started to wet up and then scold out. Yep. And so there was a big scolded area formed across this patch. We thought, okay, well, can we actually keep it in production by putting different things on top. So we had the control area, an area of about uh, 15 centimetres of sand, uh, some manure and sand and some straw and sand as well and there's some uh, there's some uh, strips of those about uh, eight metres wide going up this hill. Um, and what we found here is that uh, yes where we did put that extra stuff on top initially uh, the 15 centimetres of sand was really successful the others weren't quite as thick um, but uh, over the last couple of years it's grown quite well we've had the organic matter in their thoughts of the organic matter is that it can stop that capillary rise of that uh, moisture coming back to the surface um, we had thought that up the top is non-wetting sand hill pretty close to the scald so can we just pull all of the dirt down but um, yeah we, we did this trial and it's obvious that yeah, straw and certainly the thicker the larve sand, um, the better. Um, and yeah, as Chris says, you've got to stop the flow before you do anything. Hence the um, little strip of loosen, which uh, would like to be bigger, but it is hard to establish. And once again, that was very tricky. Um, it took a couple of seasons for it to thicken up. And even I'm excited now because it <laughs> has finally got there. Um, but yeah, it's one of those sites where we've got the sand close by and we can obviously pull it down if that's going to work. So question of you know, whether you do need to bring in extra sand on top, I think knowing what I know now, I think if you can stop that flow, um, yes there was enough area, because this was at the intermediate stage, the topsoil had started to go salty enough to warrant bringing in sand on top. Okay, if, we, if we'd got onto it before that stage, then I think if we stop the flow, just keep trying to get stuff growing over it, we may not have needed to, but because it had got to the stage where the topsoil sand was too toxic, but not worth bringing in Puxinellia. Um, you know, you don't really want Puxinellia here if you don't need it because, you know, you're trying to grow a crop through it. Mm. Um, then I think that at that intermediate stage, that's where this idea of bringing topsoil on top to keep things growing, get it germinating, even if it's not doing too well, it will help to improve things over time. And if you stop the flow coming in, then hopefully we can bring this back to full crop production again.